name is Reverend Shelby Wilson, and I'm here to give you a weekly Bible study. Today's Bible study is entitled New Beginnings. In life, we are often looking for a new beginning, a do-over, a fresh start. The success of our new beginning starts with our ability to let go of the old. Because sometimes we are just looking for a short-term fix and not a long-term solution. When God gives you a new beginning, it starts with an ending. Be thankful for closed doors. They often guide us to the right one. For if God closes a door, it must not have been the right door for you. New beginnings just don't happen around you. They also happen within you every day. You don't need to wait for a clean slate. God is in the business of making all things new. It's his healing that brings restoration beyond understanding, no matter where you come from or what you may have done. The following Bible verses will help you cling to the promise of God's restoration, leading to a new beginning in him. For 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old has passed away and all things have become new. So we need to spend time concentrating on what is being created in you and not what you have lost. And then go and read Colossians chapter 3, verses 9 through 11. It says, Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on a new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of his creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. So we don't need to put on airs and try to impress each other. What God creates in you will shine through because he is the creator. We don't have to impress each other, but we do have to be who God created us to be. Isaiah 43, 18 through 19 says, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. So it springs up and you do not perceive it. I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So embrace the new things as God makes a way out of no way. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17 tells us, Therefore do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory, that far outweighs them all. Our inner strength and growth is what God is trying to achieve in each of us. We are being made fit for our future heavenly home. And this happens through a process that comes day by day. So let go of the past and let God control your present and your future, which leads us to our final scripture of Lamentations chapter three, verses 22 through 24. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. Remember, waiting is not passive. It means I put my hope in him. Those who hope in God, who wait for God by seeking him, for great is his faithfulness. Amen.